Well, if you have on your website a place for customer reviews, customer service, then you can direct them to the website and say, could you do a review? But they... Google Maps will just pick that up. Well, they pick... If, it's, if, it's optimi if your website is optimized, they will find those reviews. You can also, um, you know, look at Yelp or some of these other uh, local places, City Search, you know, and, and open up an account in those. I think that you may have to pay something to open an account, but you can guide your clients there. In other words, find out where these review sites are. They, they are very important. If you're going to look for a hotel in a local area, people are all reading the reviews. It, it, be, it has become, you know, like industry, uh, uh, you know, a, a kiss of death if you don't have it because people are going to not look. Yes? Yeah, just on that there, the kiss of death. Um, <laughs> but what happens, uh, and we dealt with it for over a year, trying to have the help from these companies. Somebody was posting reviews about our company totally falsified trying to detract from our business. It took over a year to get these companies to move on. Yeah, that, that, that's, you know that section on reputation management? That's exactly what we were talking about. There are certain things you can do something about, and there are certain things that you have to deal with that particular organization about, because they are privately owned organization, Yelp. So if you have something bad on Yelp, it's very hard to get that off, you have to deal with Yelp directly and, and you know, go through the process with them, whatever their process is. Um, if it's just results, I mean, there are all kinds of things out there that, that are negative. Like uh, they have, um, what's that other site? It's, a, it's really a scammy site, but they, they have all these people that just rant and rave about you know, companies. They're, half of them are not true. So the, the question is, where is that? actual result coming from and how do you get to it? Do you need a legal letter? I mean, there's all kinds of things. Do you need to build more content, positive content? Um, do you need to get an army of your own people building positive content to counteract it? it it's, really a, it's really a strategic thing that you need to do to, to get rid of it. It's not easy, especially with Yelp or something like that. And, uh, you know, it's, it, that's, that's the thing about the internet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I want to actually go one step further. I want to actually go one step further. Excuse me, can you repeat that? Yes, I, I, I will. What he, what he was saying is that, uh, and, and I'm going to go one step further and say this. What he's saying is that if you're working with a legitimate agency, whoever you're working with, and I totally agree, you should own everything in your name. If that agency is taking your name and doing it for you, they're not doing you a favor. You should own your domain name. Make sure you own your domain name, all the login information. It's yours. You own it. You are the owner of that. So I'm saying even go back to your website, your IT department. Make sure you own it. Make sure you know where your hosting is and make sure you know the login to your hosting. This is your this is your property. Basically, this is your intellectual property. Your website is something that, if it's successful, you can actually sell that with a business. So, I mean, we're not into that piece of it. But if you have a successful website, an e-commerce site, that, that's property that, that you can sell, actually, and, and make money on it. Somebody's going to take it over and be able to run it and make revenue from it or lead fr leads from it. So if it's working, you should own that. Now, what he's saying is if they set up a business center, ad center account, it should be in your name. Even if your agency, we set that up for all of our clients in their name. It's just really not transparent. And today, everything that you do online should be transparent with your agency. You are a partner with your agency. And they should help you to understand what, your, what services they're delivering and what, you know, and what you own. And you should own everything that's related to your property, which is domain name, ad center, any kind of business accounts uh, are yours. So I thank you for bringing that up because that's very important. Or also just like if you have a location, you have a couple locations that you can do it there. If you have 10 or 12 locations, you can, you know, you can have it as, a, as listing. And um, a couple of situations we run into is people trying to change them. And uh, you, know, you have new staff and whatnot, and they have no idea how to get these old buildings and everything off of the list. And it's causing, you know, it's causing problems for customers trying to find them and stuff like that. So. 
Well, it's good to have the expert advice. That's the other thing, you know. I mean, if you have to have someone go in, they can just use your password and, and username and, and help you uh, get things, uh, you know, taken care of, squared away. Definitely, they have the knowledge to, to be able to do that. And they also have the knowledge, like that Yelp thing, to know that you can't deal with Yelp. You have to deal with them directly. You can't do anything with Google that's going to affect that. So that's, that's important information, too. Again, it's where does that result come from, and especially in reputation. Who's doing it? Is there somebody out there to get you? And who is it? Can you get to that person? Can you get them to, you know, so it's, it's complicated. Um, and then, obviously, overall web, uh, oh, local links. I, I forgot. Links are very, very important, but it's really quality links. So if you, if you and I'll talk a little bit about leveraging um, your assets, and that kind of goes into links and, and good link building. Um, so overall website organic search engine optimization status. So you're ranking your keywords. Where are they? Is your site in? I mean, the first thing about building a website is it indexable. If your site is all in Flash, Google can't see it. So no matter what you do, you're not going to. Even if you do pay per click, you're still not going to get to the right page because it's just Flash. I mean, Flash is one big picture. And no matter what people say, search engines cannot read pictures. They can't. So they, a lot of people say there's going to, you know, that Google has a way to do it. They don't. Louis, so. what is the, um, what's the easiest or best tool to use to know where your rank is? And um, actually, if you have the Google toolbar, um, you know, it, you, can, you can download. It's, it's a little, um, it, it's, it's actually an advanced toolbar. And you can actually download that, and so it's on the top of your, when you go to Google, it's, it comes up with the Google screen, and there's a thing called page rank, so you can look at your page rank. And then Google has a ton of tools that you can find out how much, uh, you know, I think it's link domain colon, I mean, you can go online to find out all these codes. Google will give you all these tools that you can actually find out how many real links you have. I mean, it's all free tools. Uh, you do need to know a little bit, but um, you know you can figure all of that out and see what you're ranking, what your link, uh, you know, how many links do you, good links do you have pointing to your site, um, how many are counting, if you have duplicate content. I mean, there's all kinds of things. It's the webmaster, tool webmaster tool section. All that stuff, and it's all free. Yep. So you know, um, you know, you, you could even Google it and say, how can I find this, and they'll tell you. 